Uh, she just wasted her time and money, and this is the the one, the like the coolest one. We are the coolest school, yay! Hey, Christina, good to see you again. Uh, glad to see you too. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> That's right, for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today we're going to have an interview with Christina, who is the QA engineer slash QA automation engineer. So do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us who you are, where you're coming from, just the basic information about you. Coming from, okay, so my name is Christina. I came from Kazakhstan six, six years ago. I work as a manager in a company, a managed um, group of technicians. And uh, when I got tired of it, I decided to switch my path in order to gain new um, skill set and try something new. So then I found the school, Kademify, and I decided to take the course. And so after three months of course, I was able to get my first job offer and here I am. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> nice. Uh, so, I, hold on. You were you born in Kazakhstan? Yeah. Got it. So that's your parents or grand grandparents who moved from Ukraine, right? Because I thought you were. Yeah. Were. Yeah, grandmother from Ukraine and grandfather from Russia. Got it. That makes sense. Sounds good. And you're from Kazakhstan. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a story. Great. So. And now we know who you are, and then you took the course. But how did you? How did you hear about the course? Who told you about it? Did you find us in Google? Did you find us on the uh, no. word? Yeah, it was by reference from my friend who was just about who was actually at that time half gone through the course. So mm -hmm. um, I got lucky because I didn't spend so much time on googling. Um, I just started, and then I. Um, met at the party my friend and she was like i'm taking this course so just like give me the link to the website uh so then i could get familiar um so she she pretty much bragged about the school she said that's amazing that she spent so much money on different courses and uh, she just wasted her time and money and this is the the one the like the coolest one so she was able to actually learn and uh, follow <laughs> understand we are the coolest school. Yay. For, sh for sure. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for such a warm words. So uh, she referred you and then you went, you went straight ahead and you went to your website and registered or did you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just basically the only question that mattered at that time about the payment, how would it be? And it was kind of convenient <laughs> for me, the option that I was offered. So I, proceeded with payments and i was just waiting for the date I, I i believe it was december 6th so i joined a month in advance bef before the course started yeah yeah got it okay so you uh, you reserved your spot a month in advance and then did you start any preparation or did you just wait until the course uh actually she sent me some links she's like it, will, it would be better for you if you get familiar with uh, such programming languages as HTML, CSS. So I started with HTML, but slowly, because um, it took me some time uh, due to me not having any uh, IT uh, background at all. So mm -hmm. I started at low pace. So I've gone through half of HTML. And once... I was getting closer to December 6th. I believe I received the, the same link already directly from the school. Mm -hmm. So as I started, I think I was almost done with HTML. <laughs> nice. That's the way. Do you think it helped you a little bit that you did some preparation? Yeah, def definitely it did uh, because I was uh, ahead of uh, many of my classmates, which helps a lot. So it saves you a lot of time and kind of gives you that opportunity to bear ahead of people. <laughs> <laughs> Out of everyone, that's right. Yes. That's the way to go. Awesome. So you got ahead of everyone and then you have started the course. Uh, tell us how did it go and what kind of challenges did you have? So with the manual part, I dealt pretty well, I would say. Uh, 
of course, the first few days, it was a little bit confusing. It took me some time to just start since everything is new. Uh, but as I was getting forward with the course, um, it was pretty much not that challenging. As I would say, I'm just comparing right now manual part versus uh, automation. Yeah. Yeah. Not that challenging. Okay. So manual part was much easier, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> 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 nice. Uh, so manual was much easier. Did you have any challenges during the manual part? Uh, anything that you could think of that you you could say that that was the most challenging part of the manual? Uh, probably when we started to use command tool terminal. Mm -hmm. Probably just a little bit. Uh, I just needed some time to get familiar. Yeah. Sounds good. And just yeah. to stare at it, uh, I, I was just staring at it for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, like, what is it? But then I was like, no, just, just do it. <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, uh, terminal scripting, it's already not manual testing. It, it's it, it's in the part manual course, but you're writing code in the terminal. So I, yeah. I, I don't know why do we say it's, it's manual yeah. testing, but you got it. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. And then, you, and then was automation. And then during the automation course, I'm pretty sure you had some challenges, right? Oh, yeah. Describe us have. what were your challenges. <laughs> uh, so when we started to learn JavaScript mm -hmm. uh, functions, those were confusing for me. Mm -hmm. The logic itself. Sounds good. Yeah, I, I would say functions. Functions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, and then, so you went, so our manual course was a month and a half. After that, we also had uh, three months, 3.5 months, I believe, of automation. But you got your job offer in three months after you started. Yes. So that was March. March 6th, March, or hold on, it will be February 6th or March 6th? March 6th, March 7th. March 7th, got it. So it'll be uh, December, January, February, and then beginning of the March. Yeah, three months. That's right. Sounds good. Uh, okay, cool. So then you got a job offer. Uh, were you the first person who got the job offer so early? Yeah, I was the first person. Sounds good. Why did you get a job so early? <laughs> I have to question you. That's the question for you. <laughs> okay, let me, ask you, let me ask you this question differently. Uh, well, until what, uh, what was your record? Like until what time you stayed up late doing homework? Uh, yeah, what was the record? Uh, did you stay until uh, midnight, until 1 a.m., until 2 a.m.? Um... Um, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. You have just answered why I did hire you. <laughs> so it was it was from I believe let's say if I set at 9 p.m. in the evening. 7 a.m. because time flies so fast while you trying to figure how to proceed forward with the mm -hmm. homework, and you just blink one hour blink another two hour passed and i was like yeah. okay 7 a.m <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense so until 7 a.m uh, so you did answer your question why did i hire you um and then why did you stay up until 7 a.m uh, because because it was important for me uh not to ask anyone but just try to understand your myself just to figure how do I do this or that? And so, I was, I was just probably giving myself a challenge because mm -hmm. I thought if I would ask any of my classmates or experts, it would would have been just so easy for me. And I did mm -hmm. did not let my brain to get myself into into that trap. That yeah, is, yeah. Stop getting hard. You need to ask. <laughs> no, you. In order to gain that muscle, you have to work. So, that's. Do you think that's the right way to do it? <laughs> I think. I think it's OCD. No. 
I wouldn't suggest anyone. I feel like <laughs> if it's been an hour or two, mm -hmm. uh, just ask uh, experts. But first, you need to make sure that you really tried. You tried hard. You Googled it. You used YouTube. You tried every possible way to solve it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Then you can ask. It's just my suggestion. Just don't make yourself miserable but but for me it worked if i got hired because of that so it worked for me mm -hmm. I don't know. sounds good maybe it'll work it's somewhere else <laughs> yep yep definitely uh that sounds good so uh sounds like it wasn't too difficult it just took you a lot of uh late nights and uh, a lot of hours to get your job offer and now you are doing manual testing or automation testing at work? I, I do manual testing and I'm, uh, I just automated my first test and I am about to finish automating second test. Mm -hmm. So I'm nice. just slowly transitioning into automation at work. Yep, yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. So actually, yeah, the, the reason for this interview was because people wondered how can they get an internship as soon as possible, but your job is not an internship. You are a QA contractor. Uh, so I cannot call it internship, but also we could call it because only after three months, you already got your offer. So people could think about it as, a, as of an internship, but now they know the reason that if you spend hell of a bunch of hours, if you stay up until late, if you have OCD, very likely you will get <laughs> internship or, or a contractor job as the QA engineer. Sounds awesome. like so, it. <laughs> so we did answer that question. Great. Uh, the next question would be, what would you change if you would start the course again? What would I change? Mm -hmm. Seems like I did everything right, but just I was making sometimes miserable for myself and staying so late. Uh, but again, it benefited me. Uh, I, I, I feel like everything happened happened in the way it's supposed to happen mm -hmm. and i wouldn't change anything for myself mm -hmm. sounds good and even, yeah and even my husband was telling me yeah you're crazy just go to bed and then with the fresh head you you're just gonna work in the morning but just get enough sleep and then yeah but i guess and and you worked with your fresh head until the morning. <laughs> you didn't have to spend waste time and wake up, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Sounds good. So you haven't you would not change anything. Yeah, everything happened for a reason. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds great. Sounds great. Uh, during your course, so you said that you did everything yourself. You didn't jump on the extra calls with your uh, with your mates. Uh, or did you? Because we had no, advice. I, actually, I, I, I did. I did. When we started to use terminal, I just got confused because it was something absolutely new to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I actually asked for help from one of our classmates. Mm -hmm. Actually, I did. I did. Sounds good. Sounds good. Awesome. Yeah, because usually we advise everyone to... Uh, to find a friend in a, in a team, to find a mate and work with them closely, jump on the calls, interview each other. I mean, you didn't even get to the interviewing because you already got an offer uh, even before that. But usually we do advise people to jump on the calls and call each other pretty much every day to ask questions, to discuss things after, uh, after webinars, after lessons. Because whenever you discuss something with a person, you always learn new things and you learn it in a better way than you just simply sit by yourself until 7 a.m. But it works for someone, as you can see. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, so uh, tell me about a company you are working for right now. Uh, so it's a robot delivery. So for now, it's uh, human operated, but the company is working on to get it fully autonomous. Nice. So this so is a food delivery company. Yep. Food delivery robots. Do you have one at your home? First, maybe. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, all right, so cool. Uh, food delivery robots uh, in Santa Monica. Is it a remote position or is it a, a an office position? It's actually hybrid, but for now, because uh, 
just give myself this a great opportunity to learn as much as I can. I try to be at the, I try to work at the office every day and maybe take just one day uh, as a work from home. Mm-hmm. But um, once I feel comfortable and know basic <laughs> basics, so then I can mm-hmm. maybe work more days from home. Yep, yep, you definitely can. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, all right. So we know who you are. We know how you got a job offer. Uh, we know that uh, you're working for the food labor company from Santa Monica and you, you got a job offer after three months, but your, your classmates are still in the class. They're, they're still having lessons and weekly webinars. Do you visit those or did you just got a sure. off did you drop? Uh, no, actually I do watch some videos. Oh, nice. Yes, I do. I, I try to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so you are learning at work and you're learning in a school. Still. Yeah. yeah. Why you not if I have those videos already prepared for me? <laughs> I have to have take that chance. OCD. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Yep, you definitely have OCD. <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right. Well, in this case, I'll ask you one more question. What would you advise to people who are still thinking if if that's what they want, uh, or maybe that's this job is going to be too boring because maybe they are, they've been doing they have been very active all their life and they will not be able to sit sit next to the computer, or maybe they are just musicians, soccer players, and they never had any experience. Uh, because myself, I do not have any uh, IT background, and um, I'm not, I wasn't tech savvy, and I'm I'm not yet there <laughs> for sure. So uh, first, you you have to give it a try, just mm-hmm. to see if you if you like it or not. But there is one thing when your uh, brain uh, trying to get you in that trap, as the course is getting uh, more complicated, uh, automation part of the query starting, you might think that it's something difficult and you, you're not capital. You just cannot follow. It's something uh, extremely difficult. That's the thing you, you need to just define if you're really active person and it's something that just does not excite you or it's just hard. That's why you want to drop it. So you, you need to figure out those two things. But again, uh, you might transition into managerial position where you don't need to code every day or debug yeah yep yep that's true just like veronica whose video we're gonna attach right there uh who's already working as the manager i believe product product manager product manager there we go Uh, i'm gonna attach a video in russian right there because i don't think we record a video in english but anyways (laughs) awesome Uh, all right yeah definitely agree that uh no matter who you are no matter what you did before because a lot of our students are gymnasts. Uh, a lot of our students are fighters. A lot of our students are uh, musicians and electricians and Uber drivers and whoever they did, they've been in the past. Everyone has changed their life and everyone's working as the QA engineer now and <clears throat> they enjoy it. And myself, I have always been super active. If you look at my Instagram, which I will attach probably under this video, you'll see that all my life I've been in crazy things, jumping with the uh, uh, what do you call it? With a parachute, uh, scuba diving, skydiving, uh, snorkeling, thing, everything, doing all kind of crazy things. And now I'm I'm a manager, <laughs> and I enjoy it. You can still do crazy things, but you can you can make more money if you would like to. But anyways, we're gonna leave it up to you. Uh, thank you for joining us, Christina. It was a pleasure to see you again. Uh, I hope next time we're going to interview with you uh, in probably in a couple of years when you're going to be leaving a company. Um, not sure. Uh, not sure if that's the good thing to say when I am your manager <laughs> <laughs> and you're working with me. Yeah, yeah, that's getting suspicious. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, thank you for joining us. It was an awesome interview. Uh, I hope people will uh, enjoy it as well, and we shall catch up soon, probably tomorrow morning in office. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was. Having pleasure speaking with you and good luck, everyone, guys.